Somebody once told me, you can't stop in a yellow box. Well in today's video, we're going to discover the truth. Rule 174, Box Junctions. These have crisscross yellow lines painted on the road. You must not enter the box until your exit road or lane is clear. However, you may enter the box and wait when you want to turn right and are only stopped from doing so by oncoming traffic or by other vehicles waiting to turn right. In this snapshot, a driver intends to turn right, but their exit is blocked by a queue of cars. They must not enter the yellow box until their exit is clear. Now there is space in the exit road for the driver turning right, they can wait in the yellow box until it's safe to cross the oncoming traffic. I'm at a yellow box and I can see the exit road to my right is clear. I'm entering the box to wait until it's safe to cross the path of the oncoming traffic. After the bus I'm going to turn, but wait, the traffic lights changed to amber. Rule 175. You must stop behind the white stop line across your side of the road, unless the light is green. If the amber light appears, you may go on only if you have already crossed the stop line or are so close to it that to stop might cause a collision. The rule tells me that if the light is amber, I can go as I've already crossed the stop line. So it's true, we can wait in the yellow box when we're planning to turn right, so long as our exit road is clear. Let's look at another example. In this snapshot, the driver turning right is waiting in the yellow box because his exit road is clear. Correct road positioning is important to allow the traffic behind to pass on the left to enable the traffic flow. The driver in front is slow to respond to the green light. Finally they're moving. I'm going to wait in the yellow box because the exit road on the right is clear. Now I'm waiting for a safe gap in the oncoming traffic so I can cross the road. Another yellow box junction and I'm planning to turn right, taking the right lane, going to check that my exit to the right is clear and you can see in the picture that it is, we also have a filter arrow on which gives me the priority. Now the traffic light has changed, I've got a decision to make. Am I so close that stopping could cause a collision and I've decided I am and I keep going. Again, same junction, planning to turn right, this time approaching it on a red light. Checking the exit road is clear, and you can see in the picture it is. Going to enter the yellow box and wait, give way to the oncoming traffic. Now waiting for a safe gap to cross the path of the oncoming traffic. The light has changed and I've already crossed the stop line and I'm going to go. Stopping in a yellow box when your exit road is not clear is breaking the law. It's possible you could be penalised if caught in the yellow box when your exit isn't clear. You could receive points on your licence and a fine. The purpose of the yellow box is to make sure that junctions don't get blocked and to enable the traffic flow. At this yellow box I'm planning to go straight ahead. Currently my exit is clear but I'm keeping a close eye on the traffic coming in from the right. If it blocks my exit, I'll have to wait before the stop line. 
all clear, let's go. It's essential that you're looking well beyond a yellow box junction. If the traffic beyond the yellow box is stopping, you need to be prepared to stop before the yellow box, otherwise you could be caught by a camera. At the next yellow box I'm planning to turn right. I have an opportunity to look diagonally between the cars and I can see my exit is clear. The light is green, the exit is clear and it's good to proceed. For anybody that does driving lessons in Taunton, you might know this corner. Make sure you straighten up and ease off the gas before checking your mirrors, otherwise you'll drift into the cars in the right lane. I'm scanning along the road as far as my eyes will see. It's possible to see really far along this road, which helps me to forward plan. As well as not stopping in yellow boxes, I'm making sure that I don't stop on pedestrian crossings and I'm keeping the entrances to side roads clear as well. It's a good idea to look out for brake lights in the distance. This is a good clue that traffic is slowing down and potentially stopping. I'm looking well ahead. I'm starting to see some traffic lights, trying to look well beyond the traffic lights to see if the traffic's slowing down or stopping. It looks all clear. I can see the yellow box. It looks safe to proceed. Is the traffic light going to change? On this occasion, through we go. And there we have it, yellow boxes debunked until another day. As always, thank you for watching and smash that subscribe button for future content.